Hello, you massive legends. Welcome back. Ah, it's been a while. Um, I don't know what that was. I don't know. What that was. I was just pretty excited. Pretty excited to see you guys. I feel like I haven't seen you for about six months. Um, and I think it's been 24 hours. But anyway, anyway, welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to the channel. Holy crap. The market has been absolutely insane. And all I would say is, all I would say is, for those of you that have been around and watching this channel and been through us in the bear market, at the bottom, when we've been battling it out, talking about things, getting into everything and this and that, eat well, family. Eat well, because today we eat like kings. The market's been ridiculous, hasn't it? The market's been ridiculous on a lot of projects that we've been talking about. XRP going crazy. Casper just out of its mind right now. Ethereum holding up. We're even seeing Jasmine coin, Tenet, MX coin. I mean, get the f out of here. Shut the front door because we have been sending it as always. So will we get that tonight? Maybe we said Sunday would be a definite better day than we got. Saturday was decent. Sunday looks pretty spicy. So we're going to break it all down in tonight. What are we talking about? What are the projects that we need to be looking at? And why I think some of these are definitely going to be worthwhile taking a look at. So do me a favor, everybody. Smash the like button if bullish on cryptocurrency because we're going to get into it tonight we're going to get into all of it it's been a while like i say i always miss you guys and it's always good to get back on a uh on a saturday i was enjoying my time uh, with coochie boy last night and john uh trading a little bit of futures over on mexi a lot of you've been kind of killing the trades right now on casper i think probably the only people out there that are really uh, absolutely eating it up just like cake coochie boy let's get it baby let's get it um so good to see you all thank you so much. i don't know what those words are but thank you so much for tuning in do me a favor smash like button bearded xrp up 70 percent. let's go uh fairground good to see you chili's killing the up 10 percent. get the hell out of here xpb two bit yeah i want to talk a little bit about that because i was like i'm in now i'm in xpb got in last night i'm loving the fact i got in last night by the way um not for the massive, not for the biggest bag in the world, but I'm in. Um, but I want to talk a little bit about it tonight for sure. A crypto public, good to see you. Joyce is here as well. Welcome to you, Tooch in the building. What's going on, Tooch? Welcome to you, buddy. Appreciate you as always. Um, I'm all a bit of a fluster, by the way, because I was on a call just before I went live, so I'm just kind of getting some stuff sorted. Um, Alvin's here. It's good to see you, Crypto Puppet. Welcome to you. Holmes is here. Wilkie's here as well. Walter Rasheen, the XRP queen. Good to see you as ever. Um, Ghost, good to see you as always. Matt Bauman's in the house. Hunter, look, I've really, genuinely, by the way, appreciated all the messages you guys have been sending me. Like, have you seen this? Check this out. Like, just keep doing that, guys. Honestly, get, get some amazing content. I dropped an XRP video last night. 5,000 views. Let's go, baby. Killing the game. Killing the game. But with that being said, let me bring the cryptocurrency market up. No one else wants to sit and see my face for a while. So, um, so good to see you. Like I said, I definitely see some new people in the chat as well. So thank you so much for tuning in, by the way. We're here every single night, barring Saturdays, uh, where we just talk about the markets, do things a little bit different. What I can tell you, though, is, boy, have we got some bangers recently. It's been absolutely fantastic. So I appreciate you all. And like I said, do me a favor, smash the like button, because we're going to get right into it in just a second. And you may wonder what I'm doing. All will become clear very, very soon. River, good to see you. NBF's here. Shoe Smith. Loving, by the way, the Aurora Borealis near Shoesmith's house. In fact, I'm actually going to share it with you guys. Look at this. Shoesmith sent this earlier, by the way. And oh my gosh, what the heck is going on? Where are you, Shoesmith? Here you are. Um, check this out, everybody. Look at this. What? Oh, not that. What? Look at this. Look at this. Aurora Borealis near my man Shoesmith's house. That is absolutely amazing. Amazing. And there was one more as well. I'm conscious. I don't want anyone to see our messages, Shoe Smith. <laughs> Look at this. I think it's Christmas trees, by the way, as well. But yeah, I mean, I'm not going to say what this looks like, by the way. I'll let you guys do that. Probably Holmes. Um, but yeah, look at that. Aurora Borealis over at Mr. Shoesmith's house. So look fantastic as always. Right. With that being said, Justin Sally says, I saw mummy kissing 6% on Cardano last night underneath the make it. Let's get it. Yeah, there's just everything's gone green. And the crazy thing is I was actually having a quick chat with Vern over text earlier on. This hasn't even got started yet. We haven't even begun to move into a bull run. Like we really haven't. So this is a bullish momentum, a bullish move. Um, so there's, uh, look, trust me, I think there's a lot more to come yet. But um, with that being said, let's get into the markets. Good to see Crypto Jays. Always Paul Webb in the house. Well, Kamal, where have you been, Kamal? What are you doing? What are you doing, Kamal? Why have you not been here for like ever? Um, <laughs> Big pumples, get out of here. Two bits send the crypto to the moon. You know how we do it. 
You know we do it on this channel. So, right. Let's click refresh. Don't forget, everybody, all you do is click the like button. You'll see no paid memberships. Do join our free Discord channel to have a chat over there. And with that being said, I just got here. Anything on Lunk, we'll cover Carlos Lunk in a little bit because there's some pretty spicy news coming out. Pretty spicy news, I think, coming with Luna Classic. And I am uh, loving it, actually. Loving it. So, Crypto Cash, good to see you. Welcome to you, Casper. We're going to be covering Casper in just one second. It is out of its mind right now. Loving it. Loving it. XRP settlement this week would be nice, in fairness. So, yeah, here we go then. And taking a look into the world of cryptocurrency. Bitcoin, 35,014. 11.7 billion is the volume. Look at the total volume, though. 36.5. That's 33% up on the last 24 hours. So again, remember, Saturdays tend to be much, much better. So, sorry, much, much worse than a Sunday. Sunday market move we've had now for the last three weeks. It does feel like we get the same. And historically, what we've then seen on the Monday is the Asian markets come in and pump Bitcoin like you wouldn't believe. So we could get that early hours. We're probably four or five hours away. I think we're all back on this same um i think we're all back on the same time zone now which is good as well we're all kind of back to normal and, and everything kind of seems like it's sorted but um but yeah btc dominance just under 52 percent, 17.3 on eth so definitely a little bit more um with that ethereum move as well but bitcoin 35k eth 1885 outperformed the market today 2.47 eight and a half on the volume look at tether though 26.4 now this is important you might be thinking hold a minute two bit 26 million, that's 26 billion, it's rubbish. Bear in mind, this has been around 32, 33, 35, 41. People are moving out of USDT. They are moving into altcoins. It's absolute reality. Whether we'll get a BTC move, get ready, strap in. We might definitely get that. But people moving out of USDT, which sets us up for a good week. The uh, the uh, FOMC came in pretty flat. Nothing really on the macroeconomics this week that could impede us. I think it's very much just going to be about sentiment. Retail's come out and bought this weekend. So I definitely, I, I'm, look, we'll take a look at the charts in a minute, but I am predicting, my view is, a definite uh, a definite move. I just think there is. So Shannon, good to see you. Welcome to the channel. Shannon Troy's in the building, everybody. Welcome to you. Glenn, the crypto back belt. Let's get it, Glenn. Legend. Kev Machine's here as well. What's going on, Kev Machine? Good to see you as always, pal. Appreciate you being here. Uh, appreciate you being here as well, by the way. If you are new, by the way, just do me a favor, smash the like button. And if you want to subscribe, uh, we drop content every single day on this channel. We're just keeping it real. We do things a bit different as well. Waddy's in the building. Oh, shit, Waddy. Let's get it. Waddy's in the building. Is it actually Waddy, though? You can never be too sure when you know Bernie's kicking around. Let me just double check. It is Waddy. Good to see you, man. Welcome to you, buddy. Appreciate you being here as always. Go and check Waddy the Crypto Hunter out. Legend. Um, so yeah, so keep an eye on that USDT number. BNB up three, uh, 3%. XRP, look at that, 6.4, 1.8 billion on a Sunday. Just for context, 400 million more than we saw on Friday. Big, big good news on XRP. 17% up on the week. Solana took a pullback. It's not the biggest deal in the world. Still at $40, 24.5 up on the week. Now, into the rest of the market. Matic up nearly 4%. And again, this altcoin movement. Shiba Inu gets a little move as well. Some good news coming out of there. Stellar Lumens, XLM, look out for the move. Likewise with Cosmos at 4%. Now, don't forget, Binance delisting a lot of BUSD trading pairs. So we'll start to see that move a little bit further down. Kronos looking like it's going to test seven cents. That's 15 and a half. If you haven't watched my video, definitely go and do it. Arbitrum holds solid as well. Look at that. The 38th highest ranked cryptocurrency up there. If we come down a little bit, and it would be an uh, absolute travesty if I didn't cover it, by the way. BSV, solid. Neo, Coochie Boy, and John Chris Barlow. What's going on? Tell me about your Neo trades. You guys were killing it. 43 and a half up on the week. It's a fantastic chain, by the way. Neo is, is a great chain. Um, but a little bit further down here, we would be absolutely remiss if we do it. Chili's, look at that 9% fairground. 9% <laughs> fairground. Fairground killing the game right now on the Chili's trade. Everyone thought he was a fool. Everyone didn't believe him. Fairground on his way to... Uh, to the millionaire bracket. I don't know what I'm saying, but you get my point. Um, Fairground, absolutely killing the game on on uh, on Chile. So, grats to you. Look at that. ApeCoin gets a move as well. Down the list, we get to Pepe. Mm, at 1%. Everyone buying alts. No one really cares about Pepe, to be honest. At the minute, not saying they won't. Terra Luna holding just at the 99th highest ranked cryptocurrency. Now, you might be thinking, hold on a minute, two bit. Hold on a minute, two bit. What the hell? What the hell? How is Terra Luna Classic up by half a percent on the day, but is the 99th ranked cryptocurrency? What is going on my mind is struggling to keep up with it well let me tell you 
Notice anything about the supply, baby? Notice anything about the supply? What's this? $20 donation coming in from Glenn. The Crypto Black Belt says, check out Survivor Token. It's low market cap and looks good. What's your thoughts? We will definitely take that out because you dropped $20 on the chat. So 100%. We'll go and take a look at that in just one minute. And anyone could call me a paid shiller and you'd be right. So there we go. Um, but yeah, the supply, $5.7 trillion. So yes, people would say to be absolutely out of your goddamn mind, but we've burnt a trillion Terra Luna Classic. It's coming down this is now updated on coin market cap we have less circulating supply for the same price means our market cap is less okay our market cap is less that's just sensible sensible shinji don't remind me get out of here Ben. so that's what we get with that now let's take a look dead quick at survivor token because it's the right thing to do because they pay the bills let me bring it up and make sure i get the right one uh glenn the crypto black belt thank you so much for tuning in as always uh survivor hopefully i get it right i'm assuming it's this one launched a month ago tell me if this is the right one boom here we go survivor looking well i mean holy crap it looks it looks great <laughs> it looks great um what have we got 130k on the market cap thirty-one thousand in liquidity locked for 99.92 years so look a solid lock on the liquidity volume about two and a half k uh what are you one percent in one percent out contract renounced like it i like it um, liquidity pool is a little bit low. That's why that scoring's down, but nothing to, uh, nothing really to kind of panic about. If you ask me, let's check the audits. It's a lot of green in there. It's a lot of green. Uh, not percent, not percent, not percent, not percent. Good. Um, uh, contract looks, contract looks solid. Let me just take a quick look on Etherscan. Again, we talked about this in the live space on Fridays. Don't forget to come and see us. Um, and what did we talk about? We talked about the fact that you look at contracts and make sure it doesn't have this weird open Zeppelin import thing. What I can say is this contract looks, uh, I haven't looked in any detail whatsoever, but um, but looks pretty solid in fairness. Uh, private sale, mapping private allowances. So the contract looks good from what I can see. Chat looks great. Chat looks great. Liquidity at 31,000 for 233 holders and 20% up on the day and is audited. Socials are indexed. I reckon Survivor looks like a good shout. I mean, you've absolutely sent it today. What's going on today? Why wow, you guys have been killing the game? Killing it. Loving a 1% as well, by the way, so you don't get loads of bots. No Mev bots. Shout out to you guys. I reckon it looks really solid, by the way. Congratulations. I think that's a great a great pump. And then equally this bit here, the dump, followed by the absolute send. So, um, yeah, shout out to you guys. Killing it. Survivor, check it out. I'll drop the Dex link in here so you guys can go have a look at it. And thank you so much for the 20 bomb as well. I appreciate the 20. Thank you so much indeed. Glenn, you absolute diamond. And if you have a project that you want to sponsor the 2Bit Crypto channel, please DM him on Telegram or on Twitter. Thank you so much. <laughs> right. Let's get into the rest of it. Let's get into the technicals, baby, and see what is going on on here. Now, we will come back to Bitcoin. I want to talk. A oh, I deleted it. Holy shit. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. There we go. Let's bring it back. Um... Let's talk a little bit. Let's just go to Casper because this thing has been absolutely making a move right now. Absolutely insane. Huge moves. Futures tradings was off the chart last night. Massive amount of volume and so much more to come. This is the crazy thing. Like it's one of those things. We're going to talk about another chain uh, in tonight's show as well uh, of why I just think that it could definitely be worthwhile getting into it. Um, is that the one I put up, Glenn? It must be the one I put up, I'm sure. It must be. Tell me if it wasn't, Glenn, and I'll bring it back up. Uh, thanks, I'll hit you for next. Nice. Let's do it. Let's get a promo video done. Love it. Um, XLM XRP will create millionaires. Load up. Yeah, I agree. 100%. I'm, I'm there, by the way. But yeah, Casper looking absolutely fantastic. Look at this volume spike that we've had. And then we are absolutely in price discovery. Now, broke all-time highs at 6.6. Massive wick up. Um, and I was actually watching it. I was trading it a little bit with Cooch and John Crispala last night. Just kind of seeing what was going on and just kind of keeping an eye on it. But yeah, I mean, it's absolutely... I just absolutely sent it. And it's so early on in this project. So, so early. Doing the right thing. Has something unique and different about it. Just could be an absolute say. Now, would I go and buy it right now? Probably not. I'd just wait and chill and see if there's an opportunity to get back in. However, um, you know, I think it's just one of those that could be a big juggernaut. And likewise, we'll talk a little bit about it. Uh, later on, as well as this other project. And I'm just going to shout out Crypto J for just making it happen right now and bringing those to us. Because um, it's, yeah, the, the other one we're going to talk about could be interesting. And actually, I've been watching it all day, so I want to talk a little bit about that as well. Um, so, yeah, it's all good. Um, 
What happened to Scream? I'll talk about Scream as well. I'll t- I will talk about Scream. I, I, I was going to talk about it last night, but obviously I wasn't live. So we will talk about that as well. Don't you worry. So uh, John Cristallo killed it last night. Yeah, absolutely. And this morning I woke up and I was like, can okay, them, them, them boys ever sleep? Like what? Um, right. So yeah, we'll get into the rest of it in a minute. I mean, Tenet looks like he's going to break another zero, which is kind of crazy. But what do we have on the technicals with BTC? Well, right now we're in this really, really tight knit Almost a bullish flag to a degree. We saw the reversal there on the buy signal to give us an upward trend that we've got. So if we think about where we sit, market sentiment in our favor, we have a lot of positive movement. Everything is indicating that we are going up. We're in this range right now where we don't have a lot of volume. Break above 35, 247. That's what we're looking for. That's the kind of big spike on the VPVR. There we are. Look, 32, uh, 257. We broke twice and rejected on that number twice. You can see here yesterday, early hours, and later on this evening. So if we break that 35247, there it is. I'm just going to put a line there so we know where it is. Then we could be in for a strong move. However, you know, there's always a risk that we see this breakdown. I don't think it'll come any lower than about 347. You can see this big spike of volume, but everything right now looking good. Here's the bit I'm looking at. RSI trending in the middle. Money flow still coming in. And we're about to break, I think, to the upside. So keep an eye on, on BTC. That's just what I think is going to happen. I think we'll come into this pocket here. We may test, and then I think we'll get a bounce, and I think it'll start to go up. I can't see the liquidity, liquidity bit in a minute. Um, I'll bring Bookmax up, and we can have a look. But that's my view on, on BTC. I think we definitely get a push into uh, the new week. I think the hype will come back. I think the ETF speculation are going to come back. I think the fact Ripple's really sent it. I think people will absolutely expect something to come out of there. The debate about the settlement, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, ETH, I think, is going to do the same. And what's really good with Ethereum, and you've got to think we're on the four-hour chart here, so it gives us a definite better view of it. Here's the reversal. So this was the sell reversal and then the absolute send up to the north of that. Again, everything's flipped in a positive direction. So um, look... It's got to continue. Where do I think we break above this? 1894, 1900 break and hold. You can see there, look, we got through just and then retested three times rejections, but it's holding this kind of upper range. So look, I think a break above following the trend. If you come out a little bit further, if we go into the week on Ethereum, it's a very, very good trend. We're looking to break above this on next week, which will give us a positive move. There's still this slight downward trend, but a break above this downward trend gives us some positive momentum for Ethereum. So on the weekly chart, we look good. And the day Daily is still on an upward trend as well. So, it, you know, ETH's looking like it might give us a good run this week as well. Again, there's not a lot that's going to f- affect it on the macro, to be honest. Um, XRP, I mean, it's played out perfectly. I mean, come on, really? You guys are going to tell me that this doesn't play out exactly kind of how we expected. Uh, Roshin has 2 million XRP tokens. She better not do. Otherwise, she's going to be sending it to my MetaMask, baby. Um Johnny B says, no, stop loss, ride or die. Crazy, man. I got a 20x long on XRP. It better go up. Cheerful's in the house. What's going on, Cheerful? It's been a while. It's been a while. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you as always. Um, ETH, foot is out. So be careful. Yeah, 100%. 100%. There's a lot going on with that one. But um, there'll be a, there'll be some sort of sell-off or some sort of movement of of some Vitalik will dump another 100 million or something through Coinbase. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I still am in a world, though, where I think we get a positive... Um, a positive, positive move on it. So XRP, what do we look like? We're just at this top range now. Six, I think I said this on the on the, on a video I did. Six five, I think it's slightly higher. Six five eight eight. That's what we're looking for a break above. You can see we tested it twice right now and got rejected both times at this local uh, local high. If I'm dead honest. Um, we perfectly played off what we got. What you have got, though, is look at this. Look at these indicators starting to really flip to the upside. The only watch out, RSI, is quite overbought. Money flow, though, is still coming in to Ripple. It's still coming into XRP. The VPVR indicator gives us a bit of a range between this kind of lower 64.20, higher 65.88. So we'll see. But 6.2 is a solid move on $1.8 billion worth of volume. So I just think we'll see a bit more. If we come out to a slightly higher time frame, we go into the daily on XRP. It'll give us kind of this still a, you know, this still kind of bit where we are, where we're still in this nice upward trend, albeit it's quite an aggressive upward trend. You look at the RSI down here as well. So you can definitely see we are quite significantly overbought, to be honest. But I think um, it's a tweet away. It's a bit of news away. It's a, you know, statement away from from truly, I think, heading up to, to somewhere near a dollar. That's just my opinion. 
And I think if they get the right sentiment of news, I just think it'll absolutely motor. So XRP looking great. Casper, we've touched on. Luna Classic, we touched on uh, right at the very start. Solana with a pullback, no surprise there. BSV at 0.3, holding on the PLC line there at 4.932. So look decent on that. Arbitrum, 0.9, but again, a really solid move. And look, I'd expect another move on Arbitrum. Looking for a test at 109. Break above could be very, very interesting for that one. Jasmine, I mean... Again, absolutely just making it happen right now. God, I'm so warm in this. I'm just excited to see you guys. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, dun, dun. there we go. Um, Jasmine up 5%. Really good, actually, on Jasmine. So that continues to move. And again, printing a uh, a higher high. So look, expect a little bit more upside of potential from Jasmine. It may come down a little bit, maybe retest at the 4 one Um, But look, I think a definite move bounce off. If we were to... Um, you know, if we were to give it give it a little bit of a cheekier than that. The point three, maybe the bounce, maybe the bounce around 4184. You know, if you were looking to maybe play around with that one. So, but Jasmine looking pretty. MX coin, um, just holding at 177. Doesn't really matter what the price of MX coin is, to be honest. Just get those free airdrops, baby. That's what it's all about. If you are interested in signing up to Mexi, you want to go and trade some futures or buy your favorite cryptocurrencies, head on into the description and click on the Mexi link. Likewise, you'll see down there, there's also a link for Buy DeFi. Now, they're offering $200 worth of bonuses if you sign up with that link down there, as well as an airdrop for some Floki Inu. And if you wanted to get in that, check out the link. Click it, go and subscribe to uh, Buy DeFi. You have to KYC on it as well to be eligible, but they're giving away some fantastic rewards. There is going to be, and I haven't told you this, by the way, so don't tell anyone this is secret, right? They're going to do 0% no on, on, on fees, but don't tell anyone, right? Don't tell anyone it's secret. Um, I haven't told you that, though, yeah? I haven't told you that. I'll probably get sacked from them <laughs> for telling you guys that, but just go and check it out uh, if you want to sign up down below. Um, it's a great platform, by the way. I'm really enjoying using it at the minute. A Quant holding $100. We might get a little bit of upside. Look at Tenet. Killing the game right now. Loving this. I still think there's a ton of potential. Look at this over the 200 EMA. Um, we haven't been over this for a long, long, long time. So, you know, we'll see how this plays out. I think Tenet restructured new team more advisors have come on like strap in i think tenet could be a monster in the short term uh, and then long term could be even better so yeah look 14 percent up on the day booking the trend of the rest of the cryptocurrency market xlm still holding pretty solid so there's your overall cryptocurrency market review um what's the overall sentiment good news that's what i would say and i think definitely a good week ahead for us for sure for sure. Patrick, good to see you. Welcome, as always, to you. Patrick's in the house, everybody. Patrick Coley, thank you so much. Tim, dropping the five banger as well. Thank you so much for the five, Tim. I appreciate it. Kim Patrick's here. You two have got some sort of weird, like, donation off. Um, Shannon says, Algorand. We can take a look at Algorand dead quick, and then we're going to head over and do some mablays. And this is where it probably gets a bit different for anyone who's new to the channel. Now, you may stick around. We do want to see come back and talk about cryptocurrency. But yeah, Algorand 6 uh, and a half percent up on the day. Absolutely looking fantastic. Look at the volume spike, 43%. Now, on the last month, it's up 20%. Last year, looking down though, which shows you the potential of where it's going to get to. Haven't seen any significant uh, change. Obviously, it sits within um, that kind of ISO range that we're going to see uh, coming very soon. But yeah, I think there's a lot with Algorand. I put it in the same sort of category as HBAR as well, where I just think people are going to miss it. And I think all of a sudden it will just explode. And um, look, I think it's a great project to hold. Absolutely, 100%. Um, so yeah, and it's on some pretty hefty uh, exchanges as well. So definitely check out Algorand. I think there's a lot to come with it as well. A lot to come. Creative Nation Coin is launched on Lunk. It certainly is, Michael. I saw that. Put your best face and pretend that you can hang out and let's go with a bang. Power Blocks chart looks kind of ridiculous. Yeah, we're going to talk about Power Blocks because I, I think it's a great play, especially the link with Ethereum. That chart's been going insane in Lemembering today. So uh, Tim Shea says, Algo is a great one. Yeah, I agree. I'm using the total supply for Jasmine, 98.3 out already. I think that's good. Yeah, 100%. Wait till the Q3 lockup comes when the institutions have to buy Jasmine. It's going to be crazy, I think. I think you would be wise to hold Jasmine. That's just my opinion, by the way. That is just my opinion. So, right. I need to context this next bit because I don't want to lose. There's 120 people in here. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Everyone's here to find the latest alpha. Why? Because we've called Casper. We called the XRP move. I'm going to call another project on the channel tonight that is going to be, I think, a juggernaut in the space. And guess how we find these information out? Guess how we do it? We do it by the people in the chat. Depending on where you look at this, actually. I think it'll be... Will it be this side? This side? I can't remember. Um, it's about community. It's about understanding what we've got. And it's about togetherness to bring the best. If even, uh, VVS and Tectonic will make some serious cash. Yeah, maybe be Ricky. I think so. Um, I think so. But here we go. Boom. <laughs> 
Right. For anyone who's just joined, anyone who's new, and there is definitely some people. Matt C, I saw you sneak in, by the way. Good to see you, pal. Um, the donations that are coming in, we collect the donations. And then what we do is we hold them, we raise some marbles, and we give it all away. Because why not? Why not? Why would you want to be on any other channel than this one right now? So Chalky's in the building, though. You can always tell when the marbles are about to start because Chalky comes out of the woodwork. What's going on, brother? Welcome to Chalky. Um, so yeah, strap in, get ready. Your marbles are all loaded. We're going to do this. And again, we give away, we've given away about 12 grand on the channel. And it, since its exception, two years ago, we've been going live in about a week's time. Two years, baby, we've been here. We've been grinding and I'm excited for this bull run that's going to come in. So um, again, all you got to do, say hello, hashtag marbles in the chat. Gary Ganster, get the hell out of here and we'll put you in. Alistair Grant says, GRT announcement this week. Let's go. Um... Man, it's going to be a great week. I just kind of feel like it's going to be a great week. I don't know why. Mackie Mag's in the building, everybody. Mackie Mag. Boom, you're in. You're in. Mackhailuk, good to see you, as always. I absolutely butchered that, I reckon, but, um, you know, don't hold it against me. There you are. You're in. Alvin's in for it. Let's go. Uh, David, he's up for it. Derek's in as well. What's going on, Derek? Welcome to the channel. I appreciate you. Look, see, some people left. Some people are like, ah, come for the crypto. None of this. Not this marble nonsense. Not this marble nonsense. Matt C's up for it. Look, let's go. Right. I think everyone's in. Echabella, I think you're in. I've got 70 people all getting spicy, all getting nicely and ready to rock and roll down this track. And then we're going to get back into it pretty swiftly afterwards. So here we go. 70 people. Again, I'm enjoying the fact you guys are here. Do me a favor, though, everybody. I do appreciate it. Oh, JR just sneaks in right at the very end. Get it, JR. Um, I do appreciate you guys. And I really mean that as well. So do me a favor, smash the like button. If you're enjoying the content, let's break 100 likes. It's absolutely well within our grasp. There's 113 absolute cryptocurrency heroes in here right now. James, as of course, I've got you in, my man. Don't you stress it, baby. I'm going to get fourth. Kev Machine, always good to be slightly disappointingly optimistic. <laughs> Cheerful. We're dropping a five banger. Cheerful. Thank you so much, my man. Hope you've been well, by the way. We've missed you. And uh, I appreciate you being here. Um, so thank you for the five. I really appreciate it. Lee G's in the house. What's going on, baby? Welcome to you. Not always around for the chat, but follow your vids always. Thanks, man. I appreciate you 100%. Two bit, remember my marble is Ripple. I'm watching it. You know, I can't change the name though, because it knackers everything. Mike NFT race tonight, end of the month. Got it, Fairground. It's on the list. Don't you worry about that. It's on the list. I don't know how I'm going to pay for it, but I've got that on the list. I'm only kidding. I wish I bought chilies. It'd be fine. <laughs> Yeah, I've got it. It's on the list of things. I've got it on my little my little list of what to do tonight, what to talk about, and where I'm going to go with it. Um, and, and shout out to anyone that came to the Twitter space on Friday. I really enjoyed that, by the way. It was super good. Really good chat. Really good concourse. Concourse? Really good converse. Conversation. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, really, really cool. Um, and I enjoyed it. Yeah, shout out to Make Him Take Him, baby. Shout out to Make Him Take Him. Look at Vern. Waddy's in there as well. Wilkie gets in there for a top three. Rasheen. Holmes looks like he's going to take some points. Butts in it. Bull Rabbit. Alex. Johnny B. Cooch. And then all the rest of it. So congratulations to you. Right. Let's get into the news. And equally, these coins that I want to talk about that I think are going to be absolute juggernauts in the not so distant future. Now, Casper, we've talked a little bit about in the chart, has been going crazy. For anyone who doesn't know anything about this, it's a layer one, but it's slightly different. The best way of describing it, by the way, or the best way to kind of see it is, um, is, where is it? Where is it? I need to show you it, because it's kind of crazy when you kind of watch the, is it this one? You kind of watch the chain in action, uh, or the dagger, where, you know, how, it, where is it? I can't remember where it is. Um, but anyway, um, I just think it's going to be a great project. Now, just to give you a view in terms of what they're doing, by the way, uh, they're working on a number of things behind the scenes. Uh, the consensus, which will make it even quicker, Rust language coding is not a million miles away. Mobile wallet is distributed. That's already rocking and rolling. But the really get this exciting thing, integration onto Ledger. This is kind of how you almost know that it's going to be pretty serious. Do you know what I mean? This is absolutely when you start getting into the world of... Man, these things are these these boys are really making it happen. You know, we get the integration onto Ledger. That's huge. The 2023 white paper will be big. And then we get into smart contract implementation. Now, you might think to yourself, why is that important? Well, this is the reality here is that ultimately, right? Ultimately, you can make microtransactions at the speed of light and make it super, super smooth and much, much easier to do. And I think that's where we kind of get to in a world where Casper just could be an absolute gigantic beast when it comes to it. There's a ton of stuff going on with it. There's a ton of build-outs coming with it. Loads and loads of stuff that's really starting to get exciting. 
And I just truly think this is going to be a project to get in. Now, it's up 4.7. It's on a rampage. Um, what are you guys doing? Oh, my gosh. That my, I mean, that is a colourful thing. Magic Craig, thank you so much for the two bomb. Drop says, one pound for each year. Happy anniversary. Thank you so much, Craig. I appreciate that, buddy. Appreciate it. Absolute legend. Um, Shannon, dropping a $5 donation. Thank you so much, Shannon. I appreciate you as well. Thank you for being here. First time on the channel, maybe. I don't know if you just sneak around in the shadows, but thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you and appreciate the $5 donation as well. Absolute legends. Um, Ghost bringing in the heat, my man. Thank you so much for the 20 bomb. You've donated a lot this week as well. So thank you so much indeed over the last couple of weeks. You are a beast. And then Craig comes in with another three banger. <laughs> Craig, thank you so much indeed. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the donations, by the way, guys. You guys are amazing. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. And again, if you're new around here, by the way, all those donations, we take the tax off, we take the YouTube thing off, and then bang, we give it back to the, the community as always. That's what we do. It's about building together and making it. This isn't a one-man band. This is a show for the community. I am just the host. I am the conduit. I'm the glue, if you will, that keeps everything together. So thank you so much. Um, Crypto J says, too, but that's what you wanted to see. Let's bring it up, baby. The Casper Graph Inspector. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted to see. So you can see this is the Ghost DAG, or this is the kind of how Casper Network works, which is why it's so different to what you normally get. If you think about Bitcoin, it does what? I think it's like 25 blocks a, a, a second or whatever it is. Um, terrible. Ethereum's okay. XRP about 1,200. Um, what's different about this is the ability to use multiple blocks and mine and proof. It's obviously proof of stake. Uh, sorry, proof of work on A6 on the heavy hash. It allows it to just do it differently. I mean, you can kind of see where all these arrows are kind of pointing and how many different parts of it have been worked on and, and brought through at the same time, which just shows how unbelievably insanely quick this chain could really be or this DAG that it is. And I think that's kind of why so many of us are just excited about it. Now, we dropped it on the channel back when it was at point zero two, I think it was. It might have even had another zero. Then remember... I honestly can't remember, but ages and ages and ages and ages ago, like way before everyone else even talked about it, like we were like, yep, this is a great project brought to us by the community. But I mean, just look how crazy this is brought to us by the community. And we, we got into it like super early. Look at all the, you know, look at all the uh, the public nodes that are going as well. One officially in the White House, FYI. Um, but yes, yeah, so we got into this one super, super early, which is why we're going to bring you another project that I think certainly does Crypto Jane and many others um, could be an absolute uh, beast as well. Um, but yeah, this is kind of why it is. And I still believe, I still believe this is incredibly early. I truly do. I think this is really early in terms of what they're building out. You know, they're having to publicly fund, um, and we'll talk a little bit about um, XPB, but they're talking, they're publicly funding innovation and development and a lot of other things so um but yeah this has gone on an absolute rampage right now i want to see this hold this kind of upper range above the 662 would be great if we can hold this and i think we could be really set for a, a significant week coming in the not so distant future so um fingers crossed that's kind of where we get to with it but yeah very very good news with casper so certainly worthwhile uh, having a look at right i want to bring another one to you guys that i definitely would just recommend having a look at and i'm going to give a humongous uh, shout out and accreditation to CryptoJ, our official uh, mining uh, guru on the channel, by the way. So if anyone who's not sure, by the way, we do actually have, uh, we have um, two Chaos Zero miners currently mining. Here is the hash rates um, that we're doing. They've so far done $4,641 and are just continually filling our bags. So 4641 is the total amount mined. I actually can't remember what's in the wallet though. Five and a half thousand, something like that. So in our community wallet, this just continues mining. So, I mean, look, fingers crossed, it's going to pay dividends. So, yeah, so that's where we are. Right. Power blocks or powered blocks. Uh, P-O-W blocks. Uh, decentralized layer one, so another layer one. But this one is even earlier, right? This is like nearly 7,000. Let's go, baby. Uh, this is even earlier than Casper, right? This is even earlier than Casper. I mean, this is, the, this is like getting into Casper before anyone else even knows about it. In my opinion, um, so I bought in yesterday. Um, I bought in on the Ethereum chain just because I kind of want to grow my Ethereum. That's the reality of this. Um, I'm not saying that that's what you should do. You can do it through an exchange. Um, you can do it through an exchange, in fairness. Um, but yeah, this one is is kind of crazy. Similar kind of story, really. Ethereum uh, compatible with Ethereum virtual machine, which is great news. And again, just starting to build off now. It's so early, and I hope CryptoJ doesn't mind me sharing this. It is so early that the developers are literally prepared to speak to CryptoJ. I'm not saying CryptoJ is not someone of importance, because he is. Um, but yeah, just kind of um, 
just kind of really early on in this project. And I just think it has a ton of opportunities. Look, smart contracts, value-centered tokenomics, community-driven, you know, I just think it's got a huge potential. Now they have launched on DEX. So they have an Ethereum pair in. So it's, I mean, it's not even on uh, CoinMarketCap yet. It's super, super early with this one. Um, but yeah, they've been on it. Now this has been on a tear today as well. Now, interestingly, and I don't know if anyone's been watching this. So I was watching this, right? And I, I bought in last night. So I got in at nine cents, I think it was. Uh, it rallied up to 30 cents. I, I sent CryptoJ a message. I'm like, bro, it's at 30 cents. Like, have you seen this? What's really interesting though is they, uh, they moved 100,000 POW blocks coins onto the ethereum chain and they've been selling them on the chart now you might be thinking okay well that turns me off um absolute set of choppers absolute set of choppers and this is uh, and again this is why we have our twitter space on a friday to educate people so here it is look five six one e now you would filter it and you go hold on a minute hold on a minute what the hell every time the chart pumped it sold right every time it chart pumped um, and I was, I was watching this. And I'm going to show you why this is important in a minute. So you see here, look, it got to 2023. They sold an ETH. It, so it rallied back up again. They sold an ETH. It rallied back up again. It, they sold an ETH, right? So they sold it, right? A um, lot of R between exchange and Uniswap. Yeah, tr yeah. Don't forget, though, this is... Um, these are XPB on, on wrapped ETH. But yeah, there's a little bit. But... I kind of got me thinking. I'm like, why do they keep? Why does this wallet keep thinking? Then you gotta go and check it. This is why you should learn Etherscan, right? You need to be able to learn a little bit around Etherscan. So you go, okay, it's got fifty thousand XPB in there. That's pretty interesting. Why has that happened? Let me have a look at ERC twenty tokens. It's gonna to give me a view as to kind of where where things are. And you kind of scroll to the bottom and you're like, okay, so it's coming out of the null address. It's minting coins. Why is it minting coins? Minted hundred thousand. Da 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 da. You can see the same here, right? Minted 50,000 because they just sold the rest of it. And again, you might be thinking, hmm. what the hell are you talking about, 2-Bit? Like, they're literally fleecing you out of money until you then go into transactions and you start to look at what they're doing with it, which is ultimately they are piling liquidity into this Ethereum chain, piling it in, like piling it in. So what do I mean by that? This liquidity pool here is growing. This has gone from, I think it was 19K last night, maybe even a bit less, 17k, they are literally, and so people will go, it's still shit though, why are they selling the chart? Because what they're doing is stabilizing this project, they're stabilizing this pairing, as long as they pump it into liquidity, which is pretty much exactly what they're doing, so yes, they're selling, but they are smashing it into that, um, which is kind of crazy, and then like CryptoJ says, the devs are creating a liquidity farm if it hasn't already gone live, they are absolutely building, which is why I think this could be a very, very worthwhile, now I'm not sponsored by POW, I am not paid by POW, none of that, right, I'm bringing it to you guys to say, look, go and have a look at it, I'm in, I bought in, CryptoJ is in, CryptoJ is mining this thing, um, I just think it has a huge, huge amount of upside. And I think it is so early. There's always obviously risks attached to it. Always risks attached to it. Uh, 3X since November 1st. Yeah, I think Tim's in early. Justin, you were in. I got in early. Uh, Two-Bit is going to get us shit-faced and catch a live football game. Let's do it. Hey, Tim, how's tricks? Been so busy. I need a good 100X, Tim. Any recommendations? I'm 300 quid spare. I mean... If I'm honest, um, here's what I would do. I would buy this. I'd buy XPB, wrap teeth, but I'd wait for them to sell more on the liquidity, dump it back to 13 and buy in. That's where I would get to with it. That's where I would get to it, by the way. Um, and then, yeah, CryptoJ has 200 XPB for the community. Um, so we have that as well. So that's going to go into the community pool. So obviously we want it to rally because then that XPB at 200 um, would give us a chunk of money that when we can go and buy some more Casper miners and continue to mine Casper like an absolute set of legends. So, um so yeah, it's a uh, uh, Pokemon. Uh, it's learning contracts and Etherscan. I need to do. Good news for everyone who is interested. I hold a Twitter space on Friday nights. It's at six thirty Eastern, no five thirty Eastern Standard Time. This week's topic, just to let you all know, is Etherscan and emotion. So don't forget about that. Etherscan and emotion. Come and check it out. We're going to be talking all about that uh, on that Twitter space. So I'm excited about it. We're going to kind of walk a little bit through how to look at Etherscan, what you should be looking at, and again, how you kind of get there. So uh, too bad I'll go house with you. Uh, I can get a pro for 5.30. <laughs> um, message me afterwards. Message me afterwards. Including import fees. I'm sure we could probably do it. I'm sure we could probably do it. Um, <clears throat> message me afterwards. So there, so they're my two, my two picks, as well as the daddy of them all, the absolute sender right now, XRP. Now there was a John Deaton uh, article, as well as um, some more stuff coming out of uh, 
uh, kind of, I guess, Brad and a few other people, the settlement of the SEC. Um, now, Ripple is likely to manage significant reduction in the potential 770 fine imposed by the SEC. That's what they came out with and said, hey, Ripple, <clears throat> we want 770 million and we'll go away. And they've gone, absolutely not, you set of choppers. Like, you've got no chance. Um, the number I heard that was being debated was 20 million. Um, whether that whether that kind of happens, and I, and I talked about this in my video yesterday that I put out, I kind of don't feel... Um, I kind of don't feel like they would. I kind of don't feel like they would. Uh, Glenn the Crypto Blackley, yeah, come and come and come and hang out. We, again, if you've got a project that you want to talk about, you can come up and talk about your project as well. So definitely, just come and join us on that Twitter space. We'll be looking particularly. The reason we're going to look at EtherScan is to kind of look into small cap community tokens, newly launched DeFi projects. So definitely, if you've got a great project, Survivor project, if it's where it's at, come and join us. Uh, it's a super chilled space. Anyone can come in. Goldcoin represented there last day. Last, last week. So yeah, definitely come and uh, definitely come and check us out for sure and uh, and come and uh, hang around. XRP2X, okay, but I want 10, I'll bust. Yeah, 100%. D Trent's in the building. What's going on, D Trent? Welcome to you. Welcome to you. Um, but yeah, we'll see how this plays out. But on the grand scheme of things, we took a look at XRP. You know, it's in a very, very good place right now. And XRP, oh, I clicked on the wrong button. I didn't mean to click that. XRP is looking great, by the way. Um, and I definitely think there's some more upside potentially coming this week. And it's all going to depend on this. If this comes out and all of a sudden they go, yeah, we settled with the SEC and it was 20 million. <laughs> Get ready. Hogan points out that the disagreement sought by the SEC, which is the recovery of profits made from the alleged wrongdoing, should be based on Ripple's net profits, not the gross amount. The distinction is crucial as it allows Ripple to deduct business expenses, potentially slashing the sum significantly. I just don't think they'll do it. I don't think they'll do it. I don't think Ripple will settle unless it's for like 5 million or something like ridiculous. Um, so, but you got room in your house for Tim and I. 100% ghost. 100%. Get yourselves around here. Get yourselves around here. Imagine the impact Mexi could bring for it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. See, that's where POW blocks should uh, should definitely respond to my Twitter message and be like, hey, 2-Bit, yeah, why don't you start? Because I I've obviously have links into Mexi, FYI. FYI. Um, held 659 twice. Yep. Yep. Um, Jamie, I was hesitant about the uh, eggs exchange, but it's been great and safe. Yeah, I think it looks great in fairness. I actually looked at it the other night, which is good. Uh, there's some really good exchanges out there. Don't always go to the big boy. You know, definitely. Honestly, by DeFi, I removed $200 from that earlier on. It took a little bit longer than I would have liked, but it took about, I don't know, 15 minutes it came through. Really like the platform. Check it out. Mexi, obviously a great exchange as well. So you can check those out. Getting those coins early doors. Um, but yeah, and Roisin, obviously our XRP queen, says, Brad, to give Gary Gensler a good kicking backstage at the event they are both speaking about in this week. Can you imagine if they just kind of come on and they're like, look, you know, it's kind of a like a dirty dancing moment, isn't it? Gary Gensler and Brad Garlinghouse kind of stand there, and all of a sudden, you know, Gary comes out and Brad lifts him, and they're like, um, "What? What? I can't remember the song that they play. What is the song? Anyone remember?" Uh, so, what's XPB about? Is it on Dex Tools? It is on Dex Tools. Yeah. So it's Pow Blocks. Here it is. Go and have a look at it. Proof of work blockchain. Very early on. Very new. Currently building liquidity, building a liquidity pool, dead cool project. There's always a risk attached. Let me be clear about that. Again, time of your life, that's actually a Pokemon. Thank you, mate. Um, again, there's always risk attached, but look at this. 200 holders really starting to move, and it's going to be proof of work blockchain that they're trying to do a lot of cool things with. So definitely go and check it out. Might just be worth a punt. That's my view. Now I had the time. And then like, Gary Gensler comes out and he's like, you know, it'd just be weird, wouldn't it? Against the eye of the tiger baby in some leopards in a, in a pair of leopards uh, print thongs. That'd even be weirder, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, Tim, I'm used to these kind of ones because of the mining spec coins. Yeah, yeah, Crypto J is on it, by the way, on it. So, um, so yeah, so look, good news if you ask me. Good news, all in all, um, for Ripple as well as the two other coins that we talked about, Pow Blocks and uh, Casper. I think we can be in a we can be in a pretty safe environment. I mean, this thing like Tenet will obviously be pretty good. Crow Coin. I feel like we probably need to get Crow on here. We don't have Crow Coin on here, do we? Um, we probably need to have it actually. We'll have it on. Uh, what are we look at it on? Let's look at it on that. That's fine. Yeah, 2.6. Look at this send, though. I mean, pff, get the hell out of here, crow coin. Gensler is a massive chopper, yeah, 100%. Freddie Mine advice, including discussions of the new POW coins message on 2Bit's Discord server. Yeah, definitely join in to the Discord. It is totally free. You will also notice as well, there is no paid memberships on this channel. Nothing, nothing. I don't expect anyone to pay for any content I put out. My only ask ever 
is you smash the like button. And if you enjoy the content, you enjoy being part of the community, please just subscribe. I really appreciate it. We're trying to hit 20K by the end of the year. We haven't got long. We need about 1,500 more. Um, so if you could be uh, and just subscribe, that'd be fantastic. And you get a pair of flip-flops that comes up on the screen. So I highly recommend doing it as well just for that. Just for that, which would be cool. Uh, yo, guy, I want to laugh. I uh, So I went and got my passport so I could get a potential wife somewhere cheap, right? I think he's going to misspell my name despite all the paperwork. I remember that. Do you remember in the UK, it was like a really weird thing with uh, passports. Everyone just like everyone just kept getting it wrong. It was weird. I, they actually did my passport wrong. I was a lot younger, by the way. Uh, Peter Post, what's going on, pal? Welcome to you. Be sure the new people in here. Say hello in the chat if you are new. Welcome to the channel. We really appreciate you for being here. And uh, yeah, we're here every night, 4 p.m. Eastern, other than Saturdays. I take Saturday nights off now, so... Uh, yeah, just be careful, Justin, right? Just be careful what you find when you're out there. Be careful what you find. But yeah, Crow looking great, by the way. Tenet's looking good. Tenet under nine, Tenet under 10 cents, I think, is a good one as well. Genser must be getting finance, financial about advice of SPF. <laughs> you guys keep sending me that picture as well. As you guys seen that, it's the it's the most disturbing picture I think I've seen for a long time. Let me bring it up because um, it's weird. Where is it? Where are you, Hunter? There you are. You sent me it. It's just, it's so, it's so uncomfortable. It's just uncomfortable. <laughs> I, the more I look at it, the funnier it gets. Because you've got this look, the heart around Kevin O'Leary is, is absolutely hilarious. I mean, come on, bro. What? <laughs> oh, dear me. It is, honestly, it is absolutely fantastic. It is absolutely fantastic. So, yeah. Um <laughs> it's it's what's even funnier is i have to be careful right so you can put it into pixel look so this is kind of where i do my thumbnails and what you can is you can zoom in look have you seen what it says hang in sam i still believe in you kev <laughs> oh my gosh and then, and then be careful where we get to be careful <laughs> Oh dear, and poor Caroline. I mean, it's a terrible picture, isn't it? It is a terrible picture. So there we go. There we go. Right, everybody. Boom! It's time to get all over. Get race number two down the track. So if you're new and you haven't said hello, do me a favour. Say hello in the chat. We'll get you added in for sure. I think I've got most people in, by the way. I think I've got most people in. M's up for it. Let's get it, baby. Thirty-seven Hopper Roshin. Is that AR an artist impression? I've no idea. I've been sent it by so many people. It's weird. It is weird. I live feed stopped about 10 minutes ago, left and came back. Still no go. I'm getting live chat, but no two bit. Oh, that's not good. I'm definitely here. Look, I think I am. Anyway, I'm watching my screen at the bottom right corner. Yeah, I can see my head moving. Oh, yeah, I just waved. Um, maybe try and turn your, um, maybe try and turn the settings down and be slightly less. Uh, with that being said, right. I think everyone's in. We've got 84, 77 people in this one. 77 on the community race. And then we're going to get back into the action. Right. 77 bots race here we go here we go simon's here simon i've got you in don't you worry about it bro you are in my man definitely 100 percent restart youtube and it's now working yeah youtube's been super weird recently super super weird but good luck mind the lasers everybody let's see crypto cash making it a move right now crypto and then we're going to get into DeFi. you know i like my time in DeFi. i like kind of going through everything we'll go through what we've got what we're tracking and if there's anything you want sticking on the screen let me know as well, and we'll put that in. So, uh, so Tim shares up for it. That pick of Caroline looks like a trans Gensler. It's just awful. It's so awful, so awful. And then we've got to do the NFTs, man. The NFTs. I think we'll do. I don't think we're going to call the week. We'll do another week yet. I think on the uh, on the weekly. I think be worthwhile another week, and then it'll be it'll be pretty good next week. Um, but we'll do a we'll do the NFTs. I can't remember what we put in. I need to get the spreadsheet up actually. Um, that I've not done. Let me get the spreadsheet up. Um, I think I've only done. I think it's it's not it's not a big pool, you know. I think it's like one twenty five or something. I've not done a, I haven't done a big. Um, I haven't done a lot of promotional work this month. It's been a bit quiet. A bit quiet. No one wants any of the two bit videos. No one cares. Everyone just wants to see my kids starve to death. I'm kidding. I'm so kidding. By the way, I'm so kidding. Um, why are you looking speedy? By the way. I've been going through my portfolio and sorting out a few things. Let's get it, Sam. I like it. Joey says, I know there are those that bought in three cents uh, to tens in cents. I bought in at 0.47. Uh, are any of you still buying? Damn if you do. Damn if you don't. Help an XRP bro out. Um, Waddy with a big win. Well, we can talk about that in just a second. Um, Crypto Cash, High Power, Justin Salio, Carlos, Echabella, Cheerful, Kevin, Ghost, and Wyatt. XRP, depending on how you feel about it, right? 
So here's my view on XRP. It's never great to DCA up, right? It's never great to DCA up. That's my opinion. Would I buy right now? Probably not, because I think we are in a big push-up. And as much as there is a lot of sentiment, a lot, as much as we're in a world where we're like, it's going to the moon, the thing that's going to potentially push us would be if we got a big ETF announcement. Now, interestingly, BTC looks like it's just had a pretty big sell-off, um, touching on the 50 EMA, so we'll keep an eye on that. But at $0.65, cents, in the long term, I still think it's cheap. I still think XRP is cheap. And you've got to understand the minute or the day they say, so they've obviously announced a partnership with uh, HSBC. They're going to start working through that as well as this this Dubai situation could be massive, by the way. A huge, huge partnership in Dubai. The minute this gets any leverage, so let's say they settle with the SEC, they are ne deemed as not securities, and then they announce a partnership. That's a dollar without even trying. So in theory, it's still cheap. Um in theory, it's still cheap, but uh, if Waddy's not here, by the way, we'll, we'll yeet him out of the marbles for sure. Um, but yeah, it's always, I, I just, I don't think I would buy it on the back of a 5.5% pump. I think I would kind of wait and see, but uh, I was buying XRP at 88, so right now it's good to get what you can. Yeah, true. True. But yeah, 65, it's still still cheap based on where we're going to get to with it. So, right, let's do, uh, let's take a look through the world of decentralized finance. We'll go bottom up. We started top down. Um, so we'll kind of see what's going on. So gold coin, uh, for those holding gold coin, 1251 is the current price. So on a slight reversal, um, volume around 61K. So volume still looking pretty good. Remember from the Shiba Doge Live team, um, we did a promotional video on these guys, by the way, if you want to go and check it out, it's on the channel. Go and have a look. Um, inedible down about 2.2 at 32. Volume at 25K. Not doing too much in fairness. This one might get yeeted off the... Um, this one might get yeeted off in a minute. Um... Hey, you guys, I, I like Waddy. Yeah, we all like Waddy. Waddy, Waddy comes on my space on a Friday and I go on his. Um, it's all good, Joyce. It's all good. All friends around here. Um, Pepe, down a percent. And again, if you're down right now, that's hard work, given the fact Ethereum has been pumping out of its mind. So um, hold on a minute. CryptoJ is sending me about 50 messages on Telegram, as, as always. As always. Um, oh, my gosh. What is going on here? Um. <laughs> God. God, right. Crypto J, I'll message you afterwards. Minor business, yeah. I'll message you afterwards. Oh, dear. Bullish on Parade says, we ain't going above 30k, 36k. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. You're probably right, in fairness. Um, You're probably right. But if we were to get an ETF announcement, we would. We'd smash 36k into oblivion, by the way. Absolute oblivion. I did... Um, Did I not open... I thought I opened book maps. Take a look at where liquidity was sitting, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Obviously, I didn't. Uh, so yeah, Pepe down about one percent. Uh, Ten ninety eight is on a downward trend. Probably will continue to push down as well. So just keep an eye on that one. Wagme is flat. Not doing too much. Eleven forty six. Volume's okay, by the way. Twenty six k. But we want to see this reverse again and start to push up. Wagme needs to send it. Like we need to. I need to see some more out of Wagme. I want to see this kind of move a little bit. Four twenty. I'm waiting on crypto for now. Just keep an eyes on the charts. Let's go four twenty. That is the best way to be. Uh, that is the best way for, to be, for sure. For sure. Right, bookmarks is open, so we can come back and have a look at that in a minute. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. So, um, let me just add you in, Joe A. Get in there. Uh, bullish on parade as well. I'm just going to type bullish. There we go. I know that is. Uh, Dave D says, Grok. I heard about Grok, actually. It was trending like you wouldn't believe. I think, is it still trending? Uh, Joe is. Joe A. Still trending. Anyway, uh, Stewie Coin, <clears throat> if anyone's interested in this one, this dumped. I actually thought this was like properly going to struggle like no one's business. Dumped all the way at 25.91 um, and it was bought back up. The community just came behind it and absolutely sent it right now. Looks like it might even break the falls. $1.65 million market cap. The only problem is it's just getting no volume. That's the hard thing. Um, it got one buy in from a new holder, but um, <clears throat> again, Keep an eye on it. A uh, scream token, Holmes. I said I would touch on this a little bit, um, and I do want to touch on this one a little bit because um, it's kind of shit, really. If I'm honest, it's kind of shit, and I kind of feel a bit shit about it. But at the same time, you'll probably notice that I have still retweeting it. So I'm I'm not going to officially join the team. I'm not going to do anything like that. I think we talked about this last time. Um, but it had a massive like. So there was a whale, uh, a whale in the project. Bought two wallets full dumped on the just dumped the wallets like an absolute asshole um that's just my honest opinion an absolute asshole um dumped on it uh, the developers like what do i do with it it's obviously got locked liquidity etc etc um so what have they done well they've just kind of gone with it that's the reality of it so they've relaunched the website i know i'm taking a bit more on this but they've relaunched the website let me just bring it up just because i think it's important and i want 
I want I want to kind of see this come back, by the way, but um, we'll see. So relaunch the website, rebranded on the website, um, which I kind of think is pretty cool. Um, looks way better than the original one. Redone the uh, redone the um, the uh, roadmap. Ethereum rewards program is now um, is now out. So I believe they're coming next week. Um, I think, you know, it's one of those. So we'll see. We'll see. Put them all's in, I think. Put them all unless you sold. I don't know if you sold or not. But um, if you're in, ETH rewards, that's a big thing. I think that's a big thing for me. If we see ETH rewards come in and the holders get them, do you know what? We'll see. We'll see. So, um, but yeah, I think the new look website looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I think there's definitely a bit of work that's gone into it. The white paper's been updated. Um just with the kind of new roadmap, da 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 da, da. And I kind of feel like did, did, they did a bit of a giveaway, I think, in the Telegram. So, look, what, you know, what, what can you do? Go to work and see what happens. It's got a lot of liquidity for six months. We'll see. Um, Vault at point, point 0.9, holding the threes. Uh, that looks decent. Holding all right. Bertha, Bertha, by the way, at 4566, looking pretty good as well. That's starting to come up. And if you're interested in Elephant Money, by the way, there's a review, the review video on the channel. Just saying... <laughs> Uh, Sky Token at 2.3. Z3's up as well. Um, Psych Token. This one, 2355. Starting to move. About to break all time highs. Um, not financial advice. You might be worth... Maybe just having a little bag of Psych. I'm just saying. Might be worth it. Uh, Pepe2 up 13%. Looking great, by the way. Lee's dropping a $10 donation. He says... Uh, what have I just clicked on? I've clicked on something else. Hey, Jesus coin is rising and blessing, so I wanted to share the love. Thank you for everything you do. Let's take a look at Jesus in just a second. A Megabot 6.7 and an XPB we talked about. Power blocks at 16.12. Um, looking pretty good. That'll probably sit, flip to 1700. Um, if you do want to see a little bit more about this, just rewind. I was talking about power blocks. Um, I think it could be definitely a worthwhile uh, project to be looking at. Certainly super early. And uh, yeah, definitely worthwhile taking a look at it. So, right, let me get Jesus. Maybe just to get this right one. Let me know if I, I get the right one. It, did it launch six months ago? Oh my God, how many Jesus coins is there? Um, Lee, can you give me the contract address? Someone type the contract address for the Jesus coin they want me to talk about. They need to rename it uh, with horror in the title. It will be the only way to carry it on. Oh, you mean the Scream token? Oh, I can't, yeah, I kind of get that. What changed the name entirely? Go on, Fairground. Tell, give me a view. Give me a view. I'll, I'll, like I said, the developers, like, look, I just need some help. Like, what, what would you do? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. What would you call it? Screaming horror? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I need the contract address, though, Lee. Lee says, uh, Jesus King. Come on, Lee. Give me the contract address, bro, and I'll bring it up. I'll bring it up. Bump, to bump, to bump, bump, to bump, to bump, to bump, to bump, to bump. Come on, Lee. I want you. I could bring it up. There's loads of Jesus coins. I don't want to bring the wrong one up. That would be a disaster. Um, I'll eat. Someone just tell me the price, right? Someone just tell me the price of what it is, and I'll bring it up. Glenn, the crypto black bell, says, here's $50 on your small bag of Survivor 2-bit. That's how much confidence I have in this token, and I'm just an investor in the project. Let's go, Glenn. Glenn, thank you so much for the uh the donation thank you so much for the 50 bomb my man and drop in another 20 earlier on that's 70 dollars man glenn thank you so much indeed we will definitely take a look we'll do jesus and then we'll take a look at survivor once again um screen burned an extra 40 percent of the supply holy shit did he oh my gosh fair enough um wow yeah jesus coin holy crap you guys are sending it right now let's get it baby 7.7 .7. Up on the day, $243,000 in volume. Wow. A million dollars in liquidity. Oh, my God. Jesus is absolutely here. Thanks so much for the donation, Glenn, by the way. Um, yeah, Jesus coin looking fantastic, actually. Um, what have you got on the contract? Let's have a look. Um, 6,500 holders. That's starting to build as well. Oh, I'll tell you what, Jesus is looking great, by the way. Jesus looking great. 70%. Uh, What's that? Is that Uniswap? Oh, no, Uniswap's underneath. Man, you've got less than 1% on Uniswap. Uh, what is that? Is that, the, is that the deployer wallet? Is that the deployer wallet, maybe? Uh, transfer. Um, lock liquidity 194 days ago. So, yes, in fairness, what did, what did you lock it for? Um, 16 days and another month. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so this must be lock, 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 lock. Okay, so, yeah, you're just absolutely locking liquidity like you wouldn't believe so. Yeah, Jesus coin looking great, by the way. What was your all-time high at? 
six zeros, one six. So look, it could get there. Could get there. Uh, the eighty percent is the burn wallet burning in Christmas. Nice. Okay, that's pretty cool, man. That's gonna send the market cap. Like, holy shit, you're gonna burn them. What are you gonna burn? Really, you're gonna burn all of that wallet, man. That's gonna be an absolute juggernaut when it's uh, when it's burned. So yeah, shout out to you guys. Jesus coin looking great, by the way. Jesus coin looking great. Uh, Survivor just goes. Glenn dropped fifty bomb. That's up nineteen percent. What is going on with this right now? What is going on with this? Look at this. Get it. Get it, Survivor Coin. Looking crazy right now. 31k, 130k market cap. That is that is a decent market cap, isn't it? That is a decent market cap. That is a fucking absolute missile of a chart. I'll stick it on look, there we go. Look, boom. It's on the uh it's on the agenda. So I can take a look at it afterwards with your 50 bomb. I may well purchase a small bag. Okay, Glenn, where you where were you five days ago? I'm just saying new all time high, and now we start hearing about it. Not today. <laughs> yeah, Glenn, why don't you tell us here? Why don't you come into the channel here at five zero five and be like, hey guys, just let FYI, Survivor's gonna be mental. Similar to Jesus guys, why don't you come up to us a month ago and be like, hey, definitely go and buy Jesus. It's gonna go crazy, and we were all bought in. Um, anyway, go and buy Scream instead. Scream's gonna go crazy next week. Uh, very true. Uh, but BTC coming back in a bit though. Yeah, I think so. BTC will come back. 34, 7. It's, yeah, it's, it's eating the dip up a little bit. It is eating the dip a little bit. So thank you so much for the donations, by the way. Thank you so much indeed. And <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, Glenn. And again, come and join the Twitter space on Friday night. Um, again, we're talking about Etherscan and Emotion when it comes to buying projects. It'd be great to have, uh, if you've got a project, a community, bring them along. Uh, it'd be cool as uh, West Coast like that Jesus project. Yeah, I saw that, actually. He did a while back. Um, I, look, in fairness, you've survived in a bull market, excuse me, a bear market, and then sending it the other side... That is that is a community right there. Do you know what I mean? That is that is some going, if you ask me. That is some going. So yeah, shout out to you guys for for keep building, keep grinding. That's the way to do it. That's that's you know, if you've got a team a developer that's absolutely going, then you know they've probably got some hope in it. Two bits. Any thought on cake? I would like some. Um, <clears throat> I saw Coochie Boy and John Crispala trading the absolute pants off it, the absolute pants off it. Uh, but I don't know much about it. In fairness, I don't know much about it, so I, I don't I don't want to want to kind of comment on it really but um but yeah we'll say we'll say right let me just here we go that's what i wanted to do so what do we got what do we got just dead quick on btc um not really a lot that's the honest answer here if we go in and just kind of see i'll bring it up look here is uh book maps here's what we got in terms of liquidity on btc a slight bit forming around 34 725 so break above that could see us look at this we've got what one two oh one one ninety one so yeah there's a there's a chunk at thirty four seven twenty five that's probably what we could see starting getting eaten up what we can see though is much more liquidity to the upside than down so you'd argue we could see um this start to move again to the upside i'd expect this to test thirty four seven twenty five again on what we're tracking which i think is binance um likewise on here you could expect this to start to move up if we're going a little bit and smaller time frame probably st oh, probably start to see btc move a little bit so yeah it's definitely coming back on the dip again i imagine coochie boy and and uh john crispalo already in trading this one so yeah we'll see uh how this one plays out but yeah um yeah we'll see looking pretty good looking pretty good there we go that's the child's meant to look at Come on, hit the like button. Let's get over 100. Yeah, that would be great if you could. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. I appreciate it. Scream, change the name to Freak Show Coin. It's very appealing for all year round coin instead of seasonal. Yeah, that's probably not a bad shout, in fairness. Probably not a bad shout. Um, he wants some pink taco cake. Get out of here. Um, Thomas Whitman Morgan says, all about power blocks. Let's get it. Yeah, shout out to the power blocks community. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. I think it's a great project. Lots of uh, potential with it. I'm liking what they're doing for sure. How many likes do you see? I keep seeing 19. I can see 91 at my end. Crypto Puppet says, 2-bit. Uh, XPB, XRP is going to push BNB down this week. Ooh, I like that. Imagine, gets to number four. How close is it? Oh, it's like 2 billion. So if it gets, to, I reckon 70 cents and it's there, isn't it? It's not going to be far off. Not going to be far off at all. Not going to be far off at all. But yeah, shout out to you, Thomas. Thank you for joining. And shout out to anyone who's in XPB, by the way. It might be something we cover a little bit more on the channel. Just tell the developers to reach out to my Twitter page, uh, my Twitter message that I send them. It'd be great. Um, to be I shared the link, the XPB Discord. I remember, uh, I'll remember to do it before the show tomorrow. Let's get it, CryptoJ. Thank you so much indeed. So yeah, shout out to the XPB guys. Again, not even on coin market cap, I don't think yet. Is that right? The pairing is, the automatic pairing's on. 
that you kind of get. But yeah, that's how early it is. And I just think there's a ton to it. So definitely worthwhile. Check it out. Who said cake? Thanks a lot. Making me hungry now. <laughs> right. It is five past. It's time to get the last race done and dusted. And then we've got the big one. The NFT is with $125. We need to put the vote out, by the way. Start a poll, which is split. What's the call? Split. Or no split. So do we, does it go first and second? Or does it go just to first place? So, right. Uh, Bullish is in. Uh, who am I missing? Who just came in? Thomas, you're in now. Let's get it, baby. Um, I think everyone else is in, by the way. I think everyone else is in. Matt C, you're definitely in. Um, M's in. Coochie Boy's in. Turn the notifications off if you're trying to sleep. Vern's up for it. Vern is up for it as well. For sure. For sure. Um, right, let's get it. 93 people in here. Don't forget, smash the like button, baby. Let's get 100 likes on the stream. 81 in the community. Let's get ready for this one. Again, if you're enjoying the content, by the way, and you haven't already subscribed to the channel, we are here six days a week just trying to bring you the most refreshing view of cryptocurrency out there with an honest take and absolutely are trying to do it together. So do me a favor. Subscribe if you enjoyed it. Get, get some nice flippy floppies come up as well. So there we go. Right. Kamal looking speedy. Holmes there has been. Uh, we'll be there long. What? I don't know. Seven likes away. Let's get it. I'm five likes away on my screen. Dale Russell's up for it. Let's get it, Dale. Let's get it, Dale. Put me in coach. Got your JR. Always. Always. Split what? So what we have is uh, we have some NFTs, right? So we did an NFT uh, collection. I think you can still buy them, can't you? Can you still buy them? Let me have a look. Um, and so what we did is part of the uh, people that hold NFTs, we uh, we once a month, depending on anything I've done promotional wise or anything on the channel, um, we then take a proportion of that and give it back to our holders. Um, so I reckon that's about two grand that we've we've given we've given away as well. So uh, again, if you hold an NFT, you can get them there on open seas. You can still buy them, by the way. Um, and equally, if you hold five you get a one of one as well. So here is the link if you want to go and have a look at them. I definitely don't recommend, you don't get anything special, by the way, for buying one for two ETH. Um, they're, they're 16 Matic. That's how much they are. Um, so uh, two bit sings at 100 likes. So yeah, and then you can get a, um, you get into the monthly NFT race. Again, based upon work that I've done, uh, I take a proportion of, look, the channel is is 100% about just giving back. That's what we do and, 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 win together that's kind of the whole point of this um thing so 100 likes he hasn't to scream and go streaking in the house <laughs> right there we go shoe smith gary gee all the rest of it let's head on back over just dead quick before we get the nft was and again i talked a little bit about this this is going to come next week look out for this digital savings club what am i talking about secure the future using bitcoin in this platform very very interesting we're going to be talking a bit more about this next week i've got uh, a little bit more information to come to you guys um i spoke to the developer i spoke to some of the team around this i'm excited to bring it to you it's going to be a great 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 platform if you want to secure both financial um assets for your family work colleagues and much much more so get ready digital savings club will be coming next week so set your alarm clocks you'll hear much much more about that uh, next week right let me just leave the bitcoin chart up while i set everything up shoe smith uh with a big win on that one um so we can just dead quick actually just dead quick see where that lies on the charts because i've got to get other bits and pieces just set up dead dead fast so a uh, leaderboard local and boom justin salia out of nowhere swamp and Vern killing the game one more week we'll be rolling this out next sunday will be the final sunday it's going to be a beast as well i think because there's a good amount in the pool um so we'll do that next sunday for sure um but yeah alvin timshire stardo hunter pokemon sambab cooch shoes 37 hopper metal detection and simon c all rounding out that so you don't want to see my face you want to see this chart right let me uh take that off because we don't want that on race race settings add names clear finish here we go then let me add in the nft people and if you're not here then i'm sorry but shoe smith you are here tonight so uh mr Vern is here legendary Vern. we have in mr pugamol i always kind of like these what's the view by the way split 66 spent okay that's fine uh pugamol swamps here Sandor is not here. Magic Craig, you are here. Magic Craig, are you here? Is Magic Craig here? Let me have a look. 
at Magic Craig. Magic Craig is not here. It's an error. Tim Shea is. Tooch is. Sam Bab is. Fairground is. B Ricky, you still here? Anyone know if at B Ricky's in here? Oh, yeah, you are. More complex race tonight, please. Magic Craig is here. It's because your class is Craig Stockholm, not Magic Craig. That's why I searched for you. I am here. It's all right. So I got, I got you, bro. Don't worry about it. Uh, is B Ricky still here, by the way? I don't know if B Ricky's Gary Kent is here. <laughs> um, Stardog's not here. Hunter is. The JR is. Edward Vincent's not. Dave D, you were here, actually. So Dave D, Justin's here. Kamal, you still here? Alvin's here. I'm waiting for Kamal and uh, Dave D to answer me back. Crypto J is. Coochie Boy is. Dillinger Dave. NBF, are you here as well? I got nothing better else to do. I mean, that makes it sound like you're here on purpose. Dave D's still here. I thought you would be Dave D. Right, so it's just B Ricky. I don't think he's here. He's not said anything. So I'm going to say he's not. And Kamal, you haven't said anything. So uh, I'm going to assume you're not here as well. Um, Vern is here. Yeah. I got Vern. I got Vern. Two bit. What's your 2024 prediction on Ethereum? I mean, it depends. It depends. My view would be if we get to the back end of next year and uh, if you give me a price on Bitcoin, I'll tell you the price of Ethereum. But if we would say Bitcoin at 100K, I'd easily expect a $10,000 Ethereum. That's my view. I, I, there's a lot of fun about Ethereum. A lot of people say they're going to rug it. A lot of people say that it's not got, you know, I, I, I still am fairly bullish on Ethereum. Not quite as bullish as a lot of other coins, um, but I am. I have a very big, well, it's probably my, in fact, I think now it probably is my biggest holding is Ethereum right now. So, um, right, I'm, I'm going to say that's everybody. So we've got 18, we've got 17 people. That is it. That is it on the race for the NFT holders. Um, one more like we're at 98 on I, I think so 17 people again Shoe Smith Vern Pugamol Swamp Tim Shea Tooch Sambab Fairground Magic Ray Hunter the JR Dave D Justin Sally Alvin Crypto J Cooch and NBF if there's anyone else who has an NFT um, that I haven't said but I'm pretty sure that's everybody I'm pretty sure that's everybody so um, right community you want a complex one well, I'll tell you what someone give me a number give me a number then so give me a number between 1 and 3,049 someone give me a number you should take a look at XNA 2-bit. I like your opinion. Uh, yeah, remind me tomorrow. We can definitely do it tomorrow. What are your thoughts on XRP taking Ethereum throne? It's possible. Um, if it's going to be anytime soon, I'm not sure. Uh, right, Crypto Puppet was first said 3,000. Let's have a look. 3,000 is a 99% uh, execution one, so we're not going to do that. It's a 33. 33, Vern, is a 9% one, but it's only a minute and three, so we're not doing that one. See, it's not as easy as you think it is. You all think it's, like, dead easy doing this. It's not. 666 is a 10%. Okay, we'll do this one. Spooky Magical Trouble. we got 17 people. Good luck, everybody. This is for the NFTs. Here we go. Finish. Let me just double check that that actually is everyone that should be in. I just for a second, then I thought I clicked off. Yeah, that's fine. Right, finish. Community Maps. Bots race. And we are officially splitting it. So it's going to be... It's 125. So what's that? 60... 250? $62.50 split between two of you for the NFTs. Good luck, everybody. Uh, I'm excited to see what you buy. If you buy in any coin, by the way, that you win on this, then and it goes to the moon and you become a millionaire, you have to give some back. That's the real, that's the real thumb. But... 100 likes as well, baby. We're at 100 likes. And according to my uh, chat revenue in British pounds, we're at 99 pounds and 21 pence. I imagine that's well over in the dollar mark. So thank you so much, everybody. But 100 likes. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Loving the stream. Loving the energy. Loving the community. Loving the new people that have come in tonight as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. Like I said, we are here bringing it six days a week for you guys. So do me a favor. Like I said, if you haven't already subscribed, I just highly recommend it. Shout out to Glenn. Thank you so much for the Survivor community coming in. I'm definitely going to check your project out for sure. And if you do want a little bit more in promotional work, you just hit me up on Twitter. You know what I mean? And equally the Jesus team as well. Thank you for your donations as well as the community. You guys are just amazing every single time. But... But back to the action, back to where it all began. Crypto Jay's up there, Coochie Boy's in. I mean, if you think about it, Crypto Jay, imagine you and Shoesmith won. It's $125 towards a miner already. <laughs> you don't need about another 400 and you're there. It'd be ridiculous. Ridiculous. Anyway, NBF there. 
Thanks to Churchyard and Cemeteries for the 100th light. Let's get it, Churchyard and Fairground. Thank you so much. Cooch, though, is looking speedy. I know where that's going if Cooch wins. Mind the gap, everybody. Mind the gap. Hunter's looking good. Remember, you do have to message me tonight on Twitter uh, to make sure you get your prize. Whether you'll actually get it tonight or not is a different matter, but I will endeavor. But it looks like Hunter is flying down the track. He's absolutely sending it. It's going to get pretty close. MBF's not messing around. Coochie Boy's in there. Who got Vern? No. No, Vern. Can't see the track. Oh, what's going on? Why is that not brought up? Why is that not done that? Why did no one tell me that? Oh my gosh, there we are. It's at the end. Can't see nothing. What happened? What happened? I can't believe I've been talking this whole time and no one said it. No one said anything. That's ridiculous. Are you just watching the races? <laughs> sorry. There we go. Look, here's a track. I'm not kidding. It was there. I'm sorry. It's all there, though. Look, it's fine. It's not. No one's won it yet. No one's won, so don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. I can't, I can't believe it took you all that time to tell me that it wasn't on. <laughs> Vern got yeeted. Vern, you just, you just you just went for the win and missed. I'm sorry. I was hoping I'd win last time and I didn't see it and I won the prize. Yeah, there you go, CryptoJet. That's why I know. Fairground! Is Fairground going to take the win? Fairground! And it looks like Cooch might be getting in there as well. Cooch gets in. Oh my gosh. Fairground. Coochie boy. There we go. Taking the win on those that's 62 and a half dollars to you guys remember send your news not news send your wallets to me on twitter let me know that you won it so there we go absolutely well done to you guys for sure that is that that is that thank you so much everybody for tuning in i really appreciate it if you enjoyed tonight do me a favor, though, again, smash the like button, subscribe for more. We may do more of this, by the way. We may do more of this, um, this kind of like uh, talking about projects, digging into new things that we kind of like the look of. I think it's kind of been really good. Shout out to all the communities that have tuned in. Thank you, to everybody uh, that's tuned in as well. So you guys are absolutely just a set of legends. As always, Tommy dropping a five banger. Thank you so much. Right at the very end, Tommy. Thank you so much. Tommy, come and tune in tomorrow night. And we'll definitely take a look at what you want to look at um, for sure. Um, I kind of feel like you sent me a message. I'll write it down on my little notepad. Um, uh, where are you? XRP. Haven't got a huge faith in. I think their supply is too high. Tommy, let me tell you. Tune in tomorrow night. But thank you so much for the five bomb, Tommy. I really, really appreciate it. I'd like to thank you a bit more tomorrow. If you tune in, we'll be back live once again. 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You guys, yeah, Discord AMA sometime too. But yeah, 100% we should do that. Let's, in fact, in fact, let's set something up. Let's set something up. Um... Yeah, let's set something up. As ever, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget, if you're already new, subscribe to the channel. We're here six days a week, bringing you the latest and greatest in cryptocurrency. Let's all make some money. We'll be back tomorrow night, as always. You guys have a good day. See you soon. Bye-bye.